Hi everybody, Dr. Mark here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the clavicle. Now, the clavicle is this horizontal bone that you can see here. Now, I've drawn two diagrams. This is the pectoral girdle from a front view, anterior. This is the pectoral girdle from a posterior view. And you can see that horizontal clavicle right there. Medially, so that means towards the midline, the clavicle articulates, that means it speaks to another bone at the sternum. So the clavicle talks to the sternum comes together, that's called the sternoclavicular joint. Laterally, towards the side, you can see that the clavicle articulates with a part of the scapula called the acromion, and that's called the acromioclavicular joint. Now, what is the function of the clavicle? Well, the clavicle can elevate the scapula, which, as you can see, is connected to the arm and allows the arm to be able to swing clear from the trunk. It also transmits some of this weight to the axial skeleton, which is quite important. Now, the clavicle is one of the first bones, I think it actually is the first bone to ossify at around about five to seven weeks in utero. Ossify meaning harden. We know that a lot of our bones don't harden until after birth. Seems like the clavicle tends to ossify between five to seven weeks in utero. Now, the clavicle is subcutaneous. That means it sits just under the skin and you can actually palpate or feel the clavicle. You can go to the midline now you can see the suprasternal notch or the jugular notch and you can feel the most medial portion of the clavicle. So this is going to be where it articulates with the manubrium here of the sternum. And you can continue along the entire length of the clavicle up until you get to the acromion. Now you can't actually palpate where the clavicle finishes and the acromion begins because as we get to that area, what you're going to find is that the deltoid is going to be covering that acromioclavicular joint. So you can't feel where the clavicle finishes and the acromion begins. Now, if we were to have a look more specifically at how the clavicle articulates here at the sternum and here at the scapula, let's start at the sternum. So again, this is medially. What you'll find is the clavicle articulates with that manubrium sterni and it sits within a notch. So this looks like a little dugout area of the bone. You can see there's a notch at the top of the manubrium and this is called the suprasternal notch and the notch that the clavicle sits in is called the clavicular notch. You can also see that the first rib sits immediately inferior to the clavicle, and in actual fact, the clavicle has a connection with the first rib, specifically the costal cartilage, which is fibrocartilage of the first rib. So what we have is a connection with the clavicle and the manubrium, and a connection of the clavicle and the costal cartilage of the first rib. And there are actually ligaments that connect these together. I'll talk about the ligaments in a future video. On the lateral end, you'll see that the clavicle is going to connect with the acromion, and the clavicle is going to connect with the carotid process. And again, there are ligaments here that hold them together. In actual fact, you're going to find that there's acromioclavicular ligaments holding those two together. There's going to be what we call carotoclavicular ligaments, which hold the clavicle to the carotid process. There's actually two, and I'll talk about them in a future video. If we have a look, take that clavicle and have a look at the top of it and the bottom of it, what you're going to find is there's going to be certain areas that I've highlighted here in red where muscles will either originate or attach. So take the clavicle, look at it from a superior point of view. I've drawn up four areas here that four major muscle groups will attach to. So if we look at this one here, this is most medially, so this is going to be this left clavicle. This side's going to be the medial side, so the sternal side. This is going to be the acromion side, all right? So the lateral side. So if we start here at the most posterior portion, but also superior and medially, what you're going to find is this red area here highlights where the sternocleidomastoid originates. Now, the sternocleidomastoid is a strap-like muscle. Sterno meaning sternum. Clido meaning clavicle, mastoid, talking about the mastoid process of the temporal bone. So that means that at the sternum and the clavicle, you've got this muscle originating where it inserts up to the mandible, okay? And this is that site there on the clavicle. We can also see at the front, so this is anterior, medial, and superior, this is going to be the pector pectoralis major, so the pec. All right. As we come to the lateral side, and we're looking at the back here of the lateral side, this is going to be the trapezius, so the traps, and this one here is going to be the deltoid coming down the front. Okay, So they're the four major muscle groups you see either originating or inserting at the clavicle superiorly. If we flip it upside down and look inferiorly, you see those muscles but a couple of others. So for example, 
This big long one that we see here is going to be the pectoralis major. This one here at the back is going to be that of the deltoid and that's going to be the trapezius. And these two we haven't spoken about yet. This one in the middle, so you obviously can't see it here because it's on the flip side, the belly of the clavicle, directly underneath. This is the subclavius, okay? And the subclavius is going to be this muscle that goes from underneath the clavicle and attaches to that first rib along like that. Here, this muscle is the sternohyoid muscle and attaches the clavicle and the sternum to the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone is that what looks like that free floating bone. If you ever look at a skeleton, it looks like a bone that's freely floating. Well, that's attached inferiorly and superiorly above, it's attached to the tongue, plays a really important role with swallowing. So they're the muscles attached inferiorly and superiorly. What I'm gonna look at in a future video, uh, in detail, what these muscles do that are attached to the clavicle and what the ligaments and joints do.